Hello there, welcome back. So just to address any doubt that, that you might have, I would like just to show you how to create the domain starting from this surface. So here I read the, the input file with the two top and bottom. I have my surface, my Air Force surface, and let's do the, let's create the domain for this case. Okay, so what I will do in this case, okay, I will create, let me hide this one and let me do it. okay so and here okay so let me create here select there and let me create a new plane here so let me create to have a reference okay i have my plane there i will hide that one and i will sketch here okay so what i will do is that here i will put this i will give a dimension of 20 to that circle cool make it normal and now see that i'm going to put it here let me put 20. let me go here again see that it's aligned with the other aligned with the other and put it like this okay so i have this okay so see that i have this surface i can go here and erase this line and see this is the c topology if you want to if you want to know how to create it you can also create the rectangle it, it is up to you so for instance probably let me see that okay i have the airfall here okay and let me move this airfall okay so see that you can move here up so so that here move Okay, let me move it because it was too close there. So let me move it there. I will put it there, I'm happy there. So see that now that you have your domain, now what you can do at this point, okay, you can combine this with this, okay. And now, race and now there you have your domain okay so again if you are not happy with the location of that you have this tool that is very helpful so you can put it there now then we put it here uh, still so you can rotate here or if you want then put it zero you can move it here it's up to you okay so you place it whatever you want now you go here again let's say that i'm happy with this domain i will call this here i don't know let me call it inlet outlet let me call this one top and this one let me call it bot then you have your airfall, we call it a top, and I will call it here a bot. Okay, airfall top, airfall bottom. Okay, so you have all your, they mentioned all your name and selection, you create everything, and at this point, you are ready to go. Okay, you can go now, you can move to, to uh, ANSYS, design, uh, ANSYS machine tool. Uh, have in mind that I was working in, in millimeters, so when you move to to the mesh, it will be millimeters, and also when you move to to Fluent, also might be millimeters, so you will need to do a scaling. Okay, I like to work in millimeters, okay, so it's up to you. Let's see here, now you put it there, you go here. Launch. So at this point, the mission is exactly the same. So remember, this is important before running a simulation, you need to know what approach you want to to take. Wall modeling or wall resolving. So do your estimation of the of the distance from the wall to the first cell center, and you can control that in, in, in ANSYS mission tool. Okay, so the reynos that we're going to run is six million. I'm not going to do any computation, I leave it to you. Okay, just to you to practice that we have uh, we have addressed that in the in the lectures so see that we have our geometry okay and 
Okay, I forgot to, to suppress that surface, but remember that that's not a problem. You can go here and suppress the body. I also, I didn't add any body of influence. You can also add the body influence. Let me generate the mesh and then I will add it. So at this point, go here, CFD. Uh, see that you have all your name selections. Let me insert a method, select here. I want to have everything triangles and let me add a sizing and the sizing is an edge here and here apply and okay so probably might be better to change the units okay so see that I'm, when I was working in millimeters in space currents and here it converted in, into meters and this might be a problem, okay? Because it might, you might enter into problems with machine precision if you are working with single precision, okay? Be careful. Okay, in this case, it might not be a problem. Let me put here 1.1.1 .1. And voila, see that you have your mesh. They are nice. Then you can add your inflation and here, set it here. And then I will select the two edges or you can select the name and selection. It's up to you. Let me put 10. Generate and see that you have your nice boundary layer. Eh, boundary layer. So let me close here. Let me go here. Let me go back to add the body of influence. Okay. So I want to create that nice refinement in the, in the wake of, of the, of the domain. So it's launching a space clean. Let's wait a little bit. Okay. If we have geometry here and let me okay let me sketch in this plane okay and let me do a rectangle like this okay let me throw dimensions it doesn't matter put it there okay you can suppress this i left that one you can suppress it here it's not a big deal so see that you have your whole domain Okay. And then you have this one that I will call it here, renamed, let me call it boy. And let me create, rename this one, domain. Okay. So I changed the name, then I might need to update something in the machine tool, but I just added this one. This will be the body of influence. And I can close here. Let me reopen here. So remember, in space can we wear millimeters and uh, the same model is converting to meters. Okay, uh, I might give you problems with uh, machine precision you are working in uh, with single precision. Uh, let me see. I don't recall where you can change the units. It's somewhere in those options. Let me see if I found that. If I find that. So bo 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 boom, you go here. No, it's not here. Ba ba ba. Selection was ba ba ba. Ta 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 ta. There was I recall somewhere here. You you have the option. Okay, you in a converter. Now this is the calculator. Okay, units. So I want to be, let me go millimeters at all. So let me use this one. Okay. Okay, so let me switch to millimeters. So see that you have domain and the body of influence. This one might require, okay, it's okay. H, see that now you have millimeters, fine. So. Okay, inflation, okay. And now let me add the sizing. Okay, so you select the body there and this one will be body of influence, select this, apply, and then you can apply a sizing there. So let me put, 
and then in size. Okay, so too small. Let me put zero five there, zero five or zero twenty five. Okay, so now generate. And voila, see that you have your wake there, nicely done. You have your name it selections. See, always check here that sometimes you can have that question mark there. So just delete, delete and should be solved. So at this point you are okay. Check this, you have overlapping name it selection, no overlapping name it selections. And now you can close there and now you can add fluent. Okay, update. So when you click update, it is converting the mesh from ANSYS mesh, mesh format to Fluent format. And now here you have the location of all your files, remember. So in this case, I, I'm, I'm working, uh, see that to do the geometry and mesh, you, you, it's not compulsory, but probably it's, it's a good idea to do it within the work mesh because later you can parameterize things. Now, that I have converted the mesh, I could close workbench and then open in Fluent, but I will open it in Fluent standalone, but I will open it here, okay, just to save the step, step of closing and everything. So you open here and you, you transfer your mesh. So see that it's very straightforward. Read the geometry, the input coordinates, create your domain, do your meshing, you know what to do there. And then you open Fluent. With, the, with your new mesh. Okay, so it's launching there. Okay, it's important. You have everything, no errors, and here you have your geometry. Nicely done. Always check scale here and check your dimensions. Okay, so see that here you might need to scale your domain. Okay, B, ta, ta, ta. so this domain was created in a millimeter. So let me do an scaling. Oops, no. Okay, so, uh, okay, let me do like this multiply by 100, scale, scale and like this. So I think this should be my domain. So you all, always check your, your dimensions. Okay. And just to be sure. So for instance, because I know the core of the airfoil is one, I can put there and then a mesh, just show the airfoil here. You see the names that you assign, you have it there. So we know that the core is the airfoil is one. And when you do like this, see that, voila, okay. I scale, I have the right dimensions. And at this point, you just need to do your case setup. Okay, choose the solver, follow the vertical, okay, workflow here, choose material, then boundary conditions, see that you access, have access to the patches that we created. And that's all, okay? So at this point, you set up the case setup, it's up to you. We're going to start to focus now a lot here in this in this tab there for the Torbenos mobile. So that's all for this case. Thank you very much for the attention. See you next video. Bye.